Hello gems and welcome to the Sapphire Star. Today we're going to be talking about a new software that was developed and came out recently called VRM Pose Transmitter. VRM Pose Transmitter was developed by a VTuber dev named Amba. It blew up on Twitter recently because people were super excited about this new program. So in this video, I'm going to show you a full walkthrough on how to use VRM Pose Transmitter. Let's get to it. This is the tweet here by Amba. Ahoy VTubers, ever want to make your model sit or pose on stream without having to mess around in Unity. So this is a great tool for those who have no idea how to use Unity or want to get a little bit more use out of the different poses for their VTuber model with VRM and this program that Amba developed. We are going to download VRM Pose Transmitter. This is on itch.io. Itch.io is a place where lots of developers and solo devs usually post games or things they're working on, so very popularly used. So here are all the directions here. We'll pretty much be going over all this in this video, so we'll skip that for now, but if we need to re-refer to it, feel free to. We're going to click download. I already donated $5 to this developer as I was super duper excited about this program. So you can donate to them or you can put in zero if you don't want to spend anything for this. I do recommend donating and supporting developers. Even if it's just $1, it can really go a long way and it can really help support the creator. So you can put in zero. Like I said, I already donated to them. I'm going to say no to downloads or you can put in zero. And here's the download. So we'll go ahead and click download. And once that gets ready to go, we'll click on this arrow, click show in folder. And I already have mine here. So once you get it, you'll go ahead and right click and click extract to VRM poser. So after it's done extracting and you click extract to the name of the folder, I'm going to click on VRM poser. Well, double click that, open up this folder. And next we'll click VRM poser, the application right here. We'll double click that and let it launch in Unity. All right. So next we are going to click add. We're going to add the model that we want to use in VC face. Also VRM pose transmitter. I'm going to be using a Nayako fan model of Sapphire. Thank you, Nayako. Super big shout out to you. I appreciate you making a fan model of Sapphire. So we're going to click that and then we'll click load up here and our model should load in. So you can move around this program with WASD keys, which is usually what you use to move around in 3D spaces in most game engines and 3D modeling programs. And you can hold right click to move back and forth, left and right, up and down. Perfect. So next we're just going to download VC Face if you haven't already. I will leave a download for this in the description down below. This is the version we're using, version 1.13.37a. We're going to do the same thing. We let that download and then we'll right, we'll click the arrow, show in folder, and we're going to be exporting this as well. Once this is downloaded, we'll go ahead and right click extract VC face and then we'll double click VC face and open this application right here. Once we have it downloaded, it might take you through a tutorial or you can click skip at the upper left. I also have a tutorial on this channel. I'll leave a link down below to that video. And also, no worries, you can stay here at the video. I'll also have that at the end of the video for you to click as well if you want to see a full tutorial on VC Face. We're going to click the exact same one we added in our VRM pose transmitter. We're going to select the webcam that we want to use. I've got a recommendation for the webcam I recommend down below as well. If you want to copy my settings over here, great. And I choose my mic. This is the mic I'm using. And then we'll go ahead and click start. Next, we're going to click on settings. You'll go to general settings and we will scroll down all the way right here. This is the one you'll want to check. That's why you just saw her go in T-Pose. So OSC VMC receiver. Great. So after we check mark that, you're going to copy. We'll uncheck that one. We don't need the secondary. We are going to highlight this port number. Command C. I'm going to go back here into the port. Command V. Whoops. And then we will click, I do not want that doubled, my bad. And then we'll click start tracking. Great. And then we'll put that to the side. Let me also hide that so she's not in the way for you guys there. And then we'll check apply VC face tracking. So make sure you have apply expressions, track facial features, and also track head and neck so that we can get the full tracking from VC face. So if you need all your upper body stuff to move, you need to make sure that all these things are checked right here. And then we're going to allow pose transmitter to handle the rest of this. If you're using leap motion, you will probably want to check track fingers and arms and stuff. If you're using leap motion, we're not using leap motion currently, but that's going to be a little bit of a different setup. If your leap motion is not working, please pay attention and mess with checking these boxes. All right. So next we're going to go back to the 
pose transmitter. We're going to start setting up a pose we want. So I'm just going to click on these green dots here and we're just going to click. You use this little ball here to rotate. It's This is in 3D modeling programs. It's something that you use to rotate things on an axis, the X, Y, and Z axis. So we're going to rotate her, her legs like that. We're going to rotate these legs down. If you can't select the dot because it's covering the other one, just select another one and then go back. That's what I do. And then we will move her arm in as well. We'll just go like this and then we'll move this one up as well. She's going, she's going robot mode. <laughs> so we'll just do this and then we'll click new over here and we'll save this as Sapphire sit add. Great. So now we have Sapphire sitting and we should be able to go back here into VC face and it should all be transmitting. If you're having issues and nothing's working, I encourage factory reset or just reinstalling a fresh mode of VC face in VRM poser. I had huge issues where things weren't working. I had to re-record this video like a hundred times because things were not working. So if it's not working for you, don't give up. Keep, this is the settings you need. This is what you need to set up. If you need to factory reset or reinstall things, please do that. So we have things good. The reason why this is great is because now we can have this overlaying. If I show on my stream here, you see how my VTuber is sitting now. So I wanted her to be in a more sitting uh, mode. Now she is over on my stream. The last thing I would like to cover is hotkeys in this program. You can set things to hotkeys. So we can click this drop down and go to base. And we can assign this to a hotkey. We can click, I clicked alpha one, key one, set. And then we'll go to sapphire sit. And then we click key two, set. So now I can toggle between one and two. The downside about this is you do have to be selected within VRM poser to be able to change your pose here. And we can go ahead and check in VR Studio to see if it actually or not VR Studio, sorry, VC face to see if it actually changes. And it does. Great. Now, again, the downside with this is you have to be selected in VRM Poser. This is when something like a stream deck would come in handy. And I'll drop a link to that video as well. You, I had that video set up with three team, but it's a similar concept if you want to link hotkeys, being able to switch positions quickly. And I'll make sure I drop that video at the end. So you have both of the videos for VC face tutorial and how to set up everything with your stream deck if you need to set that up as well. So the next thing is if you go to relaunch VRM Poser after closing it, it should keep your history in here. The last model you used, you just have to click load again and you should have both of your options here again to be back from. So it should save that automatically for you. And again, you can add multiple models if you wanted to as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you find great use out of this tool. And again, if you want to check out how to set this all up with your stream deck and if you want to check out a way to utilize a stream deck with hotkeys and vtubing you can check out this video next or check out that vc face tutorial if you want to learn more about that i'll see you next time on the sapphire star bye